bagworms on arborvitus at Highland Hill Farm. Here's an example of bagworms that are on trees. You can tell they're bagworms because they are little round cylinder guys that are crawling around on the tree. They usually have a bag over the worm so you can't see the worm itself. And they use the foliage that they eat off the tree to camouflage their bags. Most of the time when we see bagworms, we go over and we take them and we squeeze them in our fingers just to kill them because there's not a lot of them. But if you go see there's a whole bunch of them like there is on this tree, you may have to spray. And there's an economic threshold where it's worth spraying or if it's not worth spraying. You have to see if it's worth it or not. If it's on multiple trees, sometimes you may not see a lot of damage, but there could be one or two. So what we do is uh, we spray them and then we take a sample to see how many of them have died in the sample. Now when you take the sample, you can't squish them in your fingers because that wouldn't make the sample right. So you take a whole bunch of bagworms that you have not squished, that have just been sprayed and see how effective the spray has been. Now this has been sprayed three days ago. So the sample that we've got is about 20 bagworms there, maybe give or take a couple of them. And we line them up all in rows kind of so we can see which ones are going to move or not. After we line them up, we let them go for a little bit and see how many of them are still alive. Now just because it's still alive after being sprayed for three days doesn't mean that it's dead. It could mean that it's sick. It could mean that it, the poison hasn't taken effect yet. It is always better to spray a bagworm when it's young. The smaller the bagworm is, the more often it has to eat in order to grow. So when you spray it, then it has more chance of that spray actually getting into the system of the bagworm. So we, uh, we sit here for a little bit and we take a look at the bagworms and we see how many of them died. Now after we figure out how many of them die, we can kind of figure out how well the spray works. Because if most of them died, we don't have to spray again because it hasn't re reached that threshold where it's worth us spraying or not. So what we you have to figure out what it is, see how many of them there are, and then make your decision from there. And that's how we typically do it at Highland Hill Farm. So you can see we have maybe two or three left live there. So we'll have to take a sample again a little later and see what we must do. Thank you.